Hi guys, I'm Bjergsen, the mid laner from Team Solo Mid, and this is my LoL Class Basic Champions Guide to Azir. I think Azir is pretty potent in solo queue. Uh, he has a really strong laning phase that can easily snowball, and he's just really, really dominant throughout the game. The only real problems with Azir is that without his E, he's pretty mobile. He's vulnerable to ganks, and he's vulnerable to getting jumped and getting roamed on and things like that. So I think if you play it really good and control Azir, you can definitely dominate the game. So I think he's a good pickup. As long as you're not against a super dominant laner like Syndra, you can pretty much push anyone out of lane. Every single time your WQ combos up, uh, as long as you have two soldiers, uh, two soldier stacks on your W, I recommend playing aggressive with the Q, since you already you always have the escape W backwards and E. So I recommend on Azir just playing super super aggressive, but always be wary of the jungler. He wins pretty much any one v one matchup, but can easily be influenced by the jungler. One ball trick that you can do to get off a lot of more poke is you set up a soldier that hits all three of the range creeps. And as he's clearing the, the soldier's clearing the range creeps, as soon as he walks up, you can easily land your Q because it's going to be a lot closer to him. And if he never walks up, you just get the push on the lane and you pretty much have lane control anyway. So it's a win-win. Azir's all in at level six is actually pretty hard to pull off, but if you can do it successfully, you can easily burst them on from about 50% health and uh, easily get a kill. So the best way to do it is set up the poke like you would before, set up the soldier to hit the range creeps. As he walks up, you E onto your soldier, Q as your mid air, so you go through them. Both you and your soldier goes through them to get the knockup and the damage, and then you can ult it backwards. It's a really hard combo to pull off, but in situations it can really pay off and definitely win you the line. Azir's team fighting is all about doing as much damage as you can while peeling for both of the carries. Uh, you pretty much only want to use your ult defensively unless you're against a very specific comp and have Zonius and things like that. So I recommend just playing it really safe, standing in the back line, doing as much damage as you can with your soldiers. Generally using your E safely, but in the right situation you can also use it to go in and stun someone or knock someone up. But Pretty much just stand back, do as much damage as you can, and uh, throw soldiers in the team fight. One really good tip for Azir is what Reddit likes to call the magical journey. It's when you E towards your soldier and as you're in air, you use your Q to extend the range by a lot. It makes your dash a lot longer. It can make you dash over even multiple walls at some points in the jungle. And it's also really helpful for things like engaging, all inning in lane, like I was saying earlier. It's just, it's something you have to master on Azir and it can be hard to pull off, especially if you have higher ping, but just keep practicing at it. It's a very, it's really what you need to be able to do when you play Azir. I think another thing that people neglect a lot is when to use the turret on Azir. If you use a turret at a wrong time, you're pretty much just going to give the enemy free gold. They're just going to walk up and kill it. It doesn't take more than like 5 to 10 autos, but it can really make a huge difference. If if you're going down mid lane sieging and you set the turret behind you, it can really cover a lot of ground. and can make sure that you're not going to get flanked or engaged from, from the behind. For the Azir runes, I generally run Magic Pen Reds, HP Scaling Yellows, CDR Scaling Blues, and AP Quints. Uh, CDRs is a great stat on Azir, and if you're not against a super hard matchup where you need the early magic resist, these CDR runes are definitely going to pay off. So as often as you can, you want to be getting CDR scaling blues because they scale super well on this champion. And it allows you to get 40% CDR using Masteries, Morelos, and these runes. Uh, everything else fairly straightforward. Magic Pen, HP level, and AP Quints, all very standard for mages. The Masteries are also really, really standard. You just pretty much want to maximize the sustaining lane and the ability power and damage shot the game. And for the laning phase, some mana region and the culinary mastery for extra sustain. For the early M skill order, I obviously go W, since it's the only spell you can actually level at level 1. At level 2, I go Q for the early game trades. W is pretty much useless without the Q. And uh, level 3, if you feel like the jungler might gank, you should go E. Uh, if you're looking for even more lane dominance, you can go for another level in Q. After that, max Q in W into E, just the most overall damage possible. On Azir, I usually run heal or barrier and the occasional exhaust. Azir already has amazing damage output, and all he really needs is to be able to survive longer. Every single second you live longer, you do a lot more damage. So focus on having the defensive summoners, and if you're against a heavy burster, barrier might be the way to go. For the C item build, you pretty much always want to be starting with Doran's Ring because you do have a lot of lane control early and it helps you get the early push for the level 2. Um, after Doran's, you want to get uh, Morellos or Athenes as soon as possible. Generally Morellos where you get the Phoenix Codex first, but if you're in a hard matchup where you need the MR, say an Assassin like the Block or Fizz, you can't go for the Athenes. Um, after Morello, there's a couple different choices you can go. You can go Deathcap or Voice Staff for straight damage. Some people prefer Ludens right after Morello, it's really up to what you like. If they have heavy magic damage, you can go for an Abyssal if you're 
going more close range against the magic damage champions, and you can go Zhonya's if they have a lot of physical damage, but in the end, you pretty much want to mix between all these items, and the the way you build them depends on the game. Thanks for watching. You can check out my other guys at lawclass.com, and if you have any questions, you can always tweet at me at, at Bjergsen. One of the most important things for AP Kogma rookie players is that they tend to go out of mana really fast. Kill him. The sustained damage output from Cassiopeia is insane. As long